Hi, my name's Tom Delorenzi. I'm the CTO of Zigza Game, which is a Japanese mobile gaming company. Although I did not come from Japan like our other friend, wherever he went. I live in Redmond. Uh, I started out in the telecom world doing IVRs, and then I later went to Ericsson, worked on the singular billing. And at some point in that process, I had always had a passion for game development, but I just never really made the, the move. And so I decided on the side to make Flash games because Flash games was the first opportunity for the casual person to independently get a game in front of potentially millions of people. So I did that. I made a game called Dungeon Defender. Uh, it got millions of plays. Yeah. And that, that's, that's actually the next segue is the feeling of random people saying, oh, I've played your game. It's a really good feeling. And so I was like, I need to do more of this, but millions of plays doesn't make that much money on Flash. And then enter the App Store, the iOS App Store. It was opened in around 2009, I think, and there was this game called iShoot. I don't know if anyone's heard of that, but it was scorched earth, reskinned. That was like a 90s game. And he made a million bucks in a month by himself in a game that would take like a month to make easily. And I was like, I need to get out of Flash and go over to iOS. So I did that. And uh, I made a lot of Flash connections, lots of popular games that had authors that didn't know how to do Objective-C. They were visual developers in ActionScript. And I said, hey, I can, I'm a professional programmer. I'll port your game. Give me a cut. And, and that's what I did. And at some point, I got connected with this Japanese company called Zigza Game. And they're like, hey, we want you to come on and port games for us collectively and probably make our own IP. So that's kind of my backstory. So this is everything we've done. Well, not everything, but most of the stuff we've done. Flash ports, our own IP, and then we got into publishing as well. These are extremely successful Japanese games, except for Micromon. That's actually made by uh, Costa Ricans. Randomly stuck it in there. But uh, we, I never expected to do publishing. It was just kind of a side bonus of getting into this world and having some success and having people that wanted help getting their games to the, the American market. So our flagship title is Evertail. Evertail 2.0 is a re-envisioning in a lot of ways of the game, and that's where Memento comes into the picture for us. So originally we ran Evertail's server backend on our own machines on, I can't even remember, some third-party web hosting thing. It was all PHP-driven, nothing serverless. And at some point, you know, I said, we need to embrace what's going on. AWS, everybody's talking about this. We need to get in on that bandwagon. And we moved into Beanstalk. But that was only partway there because Beanstalk was a litany of problems for us. And so the next move we made was to Lambda. And at that time, although that solved all of our issues, it revealed new issues, which is Lambda and Redis didn't play well together. The reason for this is our game encourages activity at certain times of day, which causes all the players to come in at exactly 8 o'clock, exactly 2 p.m., exactly whatever. And these massive spikes in traffic, which are like 6, 4x, the normal traffic levels, all of a sudden in one moment, causes tons of Lambda instances to spin up. All those Lambda instances connect to Redis. All those Redis are multicast, so all the boxes in the Redis cluster, all the, they all get hit all at the same time overloads Redis, more Lambdas spin up because the first ones couldn't complete requests, death spiral, doom and gloom. So our, uh, our account rep said, hey, I got this guy here that's got this new product. I think it might solve all your problems. So we talked for a while and we decided to trial run it to replace the uh, chat system, which used Redis in our game. And we launched that about, I think, what, nine months ago? And it's, it's been a huge success. Never had a connection timeout because of spikes. Never had any downtime. We were extremely happy. Uh, I've listed some features that he put in just for us because we asked for it. And he's like, yeah, I'll do that. And that was a really awesome experience as a customer. So thank you for that. Uh, and um, they've, they've also supported us after. They've helped us keep an eye on it, make sure everything's running properly. And, and it's been a great partnership. So. Because everything went well, we decided to double down. This is our next game coming out early next year. Uh, we're going to go to put everything in Memento that's cash related instead of just our chat system. 
and we're really excited to see how that works out. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you.